Hey folks, saw this recently on Chief Talk. Randy is having trouble with a, creating a party wall and getting it to frame properly. I think this is the wall type he's actually trying to construct. It's a UL336, U336. And um, what I think he wants to do is to make sure that party wall frame through and these walls stop on the side. So let's get started. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so what I've got here is just a simple little apartment thing that I've drawn to demonstrate this. It's two-story. They just reflect on each other. Nothing fancy. And different colored walls, but they don't really mean too much different. This light blue is a interior four, but only drywall one side. So drywall one side, that's it. The... The only unique wall here, this is standard interior four. This is a standard siding four. And this purple wall is a interior four, but I've defined it down here as a partition wall. And these two walls are part of the rated assembly, I think. Um, but the shaft wall is continuous. It goes from the ground floor all the way to the roof. And so I didn't think you would want to make it as a part of these walls. And I could be wrong on this, but I think that you will want to see it the way I'm thinking it should be. Now, there's a couple of ways we could do this. And the shaft wall really needs to extend at least to here, right here at the end of the framing. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to try this, just draw a room divider right here and just drag it right to the edge right there. And then I am going to do the same down at this end. Drag a room divider right here and I'm just going to drag it to the outside edge here. Now we should have a room here, which we do. And on this room, on the structure tab, I'm going to uncheck that so there's nothing there. Now, when we go upstairs and I do the same thing, take a room divider and put it right here and drag it out and do the same here. We'll get a room here and I'm going to make this room open below. No, no label. And now we have truly have a shaft here. Um, now, down here, I want to draw my shaft wall. So the one thing about this is since it drew a standard, I probably should have changed this, but it picked up this shaft wall from my wall type. But I don't want that. And I created a divider wall. Where is it? It should be right here. Shaft wall. And all it is is framing. But I put it eighth inch thick. And I'm going to use that as my wall there at the end. Same over here. Right there. And then I am going to actually let's change the ones upstairs too. Let's make this a divider or shaft wall. And over here. Okay, I should have done that to begin with. <laughs> but, um, hey, what can I tell you? So on the interior wall now, I want to use the shaft wall. And all it is is a two inch center layer, which represents the jip board. And steel studs 24 on center, which is how it's framed usually. And then a three quarter inch air gap on each side. And uh, that's just like the U336 shaft wall. So since we have that, I'm going to click on my center line here. And, and that didn't work, but I'm going to center the wall. Well, I thought I could on this right here. And I'm going to pull this down. 
and pull this down. Shouldn't have done it this way, I guess, but. And now my wall is probably getting in the way here. There we go. And I'll just drag this back. There we go. So now I have my shaft wall going in there. And of course, you know, Chief fights us on everything. So you have to outthink this dime software some days. So there you go. So there's your shaft wall right to where we want it. Now I'm going to pull this wall over to here. And I have to go upstairs and I am going to actually take this wall. Command C, go up. Command Alt V and paste it. And then I am going to pull this wall over. And um, yeah, the siding's missing here. I think we can take this and use the edit wall intersection tool and just pull this. I guess we can't. So that's a good reason possibly to make this room divider wall. Maybe if I made it siding four. Where is it here? Um, maybe then we can edit this. No. Nope. Uh, you might have to use a polyline solid here. I'm going to put this back to where I had it. Yeah. You may have to fill this in with a, a polyline solid because it, it'll be a hole in your elevation. If we look right now, you'll be able to see. See. But we truly do have a shaft right there. And you can see the uh, the framing going through. Now, the, the one thing you have to do here is on this wall, open it. And on the Structure tab, select Balloon Through Ceiling Above. And then up here, select this one and go through Floor Below. Now, if I look at a perspective framing overview, you will see um, there's the shaft wall and it's framing continuously through like it should. And um, I think that's what you want. And then the floor is another story altogether. You may have to put some bearing lines in if the floors go left to right. Uh, if they're going front to back, um, then you can just, but I think the floor will require a little manual editing to get it the way you want it. But to me, that's how you should do this shaft wall. And if you look at the floor plan, I got a saved view called framing floor plan view. I'm just going to say yes. You can see here that these partition walls will not go through this this wall. In fact, it's leaving a ha the 5 8 gap for the drywall so the drywall can go continuously through and this shaft wall will not be have a fire penetration. So the problem with it is that it also does it over here. So it's not perfect. Uh, I think it's a good solution, but somebody smarter than me might have a better solution. But to me, this is how you should do this shaft wall. So... Feel free to comment. I'm no expert on this, but I, I saw your post and thought it would be interesting to do a uh, a trial and see how this all comes together. So um, I hope that helps. Maybe gave you an idea. Maybe you can figure out something better than I've figured out um, to to fix this here. I don't know if you know what I mean, but I would just take a polyline solid and make it three and a half and then open it and say oh from floor say and just make it uh 20 feet for now no it has to be taller than that 24 feet and floor to bottom would be zero. Oh, wait a minute 24 feet here floor to bottom would be zero and then just you can pull it in here and snap it right to the this 
And if we look at the camera overview, you'll, oh, yeah, yeah, you can see it here. You can pull it down. Oh, I, I created it on the second floor. <laughs> you might want to create it on the first floor, but anyway, you get my point. You can take that, create a, put a polyline solid in there, take your eyedropper and just paint it. And it'll, you will be done. In vector view, you'll probably see a line. No, oh, you won't. That's pretty good. I think that's a new in chief, maybe. Or I just got lucky. But uh, anyway, that's a quick video on shaft walls. And um, I think that looks pretty good. It's a good way of doing it. Um, you can even see it right here. You can see in vector view, probably better, that the stud is held off the wall. I don't know if you can see that, really. And the shaft liners are there. So um, that's a good way of doing it, I think. And uh, you'll get what you want. If you got a comment, leave it and we'll go from there. Thanks.